what's going on everybody welcome back to another video it's your girl janice if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family so um first and foremost we are back from miami we are home we've been traveling for the past two weeks it's been very hectic and we haven't had a good home cooked meal in a while isaiah doesn't know i'm making this video because right now he's outside he's washing my car isaiah always like does little things like that and i don't even have to ask ask him for he just goes and he does it and honestly like it's still his birthday and we haven't well it's not his birthday his birthday passed already but i feel like we haven't had like an intimate moment we haven't had any you know um just like time to just us so today's our first day back from miami and i decided that i'm just gonna make him a yummy dinner it's not gonna be extra with like candle lights and all that stuff but i think it'll be a great time to just like show you guys me making him a special meal and i'm just gonna show you what i have on the table and what i'm about to make so i'm about to make some baked mac and cheese it's gonna be my first time making baked mac and cheese um i got a recipe on tiktok and my mom also makes the best baked mac and cheese i kind of took some notes and hopefully it comes out good and then i also have some crab legs now i make pretty good crab legs i would say and i make them in the oven instead of boiling them and um i used to make this years ago for my family and and I, I just realized, Isaiah was like, you've never made me crab legs before. And I'm like, what? So I ordered all this stuff. And let me show you guys what I got. And yeah, we're about to get cooking. I'm about to chef it up. It's been a minute. And I'm excited. All right. So this is what I've got. I've got some gluten-free elbows because I can't have regular pasta. Um, but Isaiah does like uh, this brand of gluten-free. So it works out. Some Old Bay seasoning. Some Cajun seasoning. I have some chicken broth because I'm a boil of... Uh, the noodles in it so it has some flavor heavy whipping cream now i know people say to shred your own cheese but i don't have a cheese grater so i just bought all these different kinds i got triple cheddar blend mozzarella sharp cheddar and then triple cheddar again um i don't know which one to use this one like a little thicker and this was thinner so i was like the more cheese the better um i got this philadelphia cream cheese um and then this is the crab legs that i got i got like two pounds we usually have a pound each um and then obviously Obviously, I got four aluminum uh, foil things so I can put the baked mac and cheese and the crab legs in here. And then I also got some cranberry and Sprite. Now this weekend in Miami, I don't know what happened. We had some cranberry and Sprite for the liquor that we were drinking and I don't drink like that. So I put these two together for a mocktail and it was A1. So I'm gonna make us some mocktails today because honestly i honestly isaiah has done enough drinking this weekend so let's go ahead and chef it up and hopefully i'm praying oh i zoomed in a little bit too much there i think oops oh <laughs> hopefully the meal comes out 10 out of 10 so let's go ahead and prepare all of this first things first i went ahead and i put this chicken broth in here i don't think that it's enough to fill like to the top where it needs to be so i'm gonna add some water at least it's gonna have a little bit more flavor than if it were 100 percent water and i'm gonna add a little bit of salt so let's go ahead and do that right now All right, now we're just gonna let it boil. So I found this bigger pan underneath um, in my gavetas. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the crab legs in here so they're spread out evenly. And I don't have to use more than one pan. And then Isaiah's grandfather left this. He used uh, the penil. If you don't know what penil is, it's a uh, pig and they usually make it for like Thanksgiving and stuff. Um, but he made it for my aunt's wedding and he left this pan in here. And I think it's a lot deeper than this. Do you see the difference? So I'm gonna go ahead and put the mac and cheese in here. And I just feel like it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out better anyways in here so I can layer more of it and more cheese and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. Um, and this is still boiling. It hasn't gotten to like a boiling point yet. So I'm still waiting. It's some smoke coming up a little bit. So it should get there soon. But I'm just so excited. I just wanna get in the groove. So I think I'm gonna start prepping the crab legs and marinating them and just letting them sit until I put this in the oven and they bake at the same time. So I'm about to make the garlic butter seasoning for the crab legs. So here I have um, some onion powder. I have some garlic powder. 
I also have some minced garlic. I've got two kinds of butter. I have this and a stick of butter. I have Obey and Cajun seasoning. And then salt, pepper, and some fresh parsley. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in this bowl. And then we're gonna pour it on top of the crab legs. And then I'm gonna also show you guys me seasoning the crab legs itself. And you're gonna see how fire this comes out. So let's go ahead and make this garlic butter. All right, here I go. I'm about to season the actual crab legs. So starting off, salt and pepper. Put some salt. Don't forget to season like in here too because that is crucial because that also needs some flavor. Because I don't know about y'all, but me and Isaiah, we eat that part. And I'm just not putting too, too much seasoning on here because we don't want it to be too salty because remember I put some seasoning into the butter. So yeah, let's do some garlic powder. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, it's about to be busting. I'm gonna turn them around to get some seasoning back here. Uh-huh. And I already did a good rinsing, cleaned it up on cam on the off camera, so don't worry about that, y'all. Onion powder. Oof. Be generous with your seasonings. Need some oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to put some obey on here. I'm not putting too much Cajun because that's gonna be sparkling. Crucial key ingredient right here. Obey. Needs to come out a little bit more though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna open it. All right, that was probably too much. But, all right, putting some like that. They already look so good. Sometimes people just put Obey on crab legs, which is crazy to me. That, oh my goodness, I am like pouring way too much. <laughs> I mean, it's all gonna blend in, don't worry. It's gonna blend, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna rub it in and stuff, so. But yeah, some people just put Obey, and I think that's actually crazy, because I wouldn't just put Obey on crab legs, like. Why would you do that? And then I'm also gonna drizzle some lemons on there and then leave it in there so when I cook it, you get some of that lemony flavor. Mm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. I might have to make another batch because I want it to be buttered up. Don't want it to be dry or nothing. So I'm about to make some more butter and then I'm gonna mix it up, mix it up. So I'm gonna show you guys the finished result when I'm done. All right, y'all, so I ended up doing this. I just scooped a whole bunch of butter and I left it on there so that way once it goes in and it bakes, it's just gonna melt all over. So yeah, I'm about to put some lemons on it and then we're gonna put it in the oven. I'm about to zoom y'all in. You see this? Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mama did that. Now she about to go in the oven for 20 minutes on a 400 degrees. And we are gonna go ham. So now I'm about to move on to the noodles, to the nice yummy mac and cheese. All right y'all, so the noodles are done. So I'm about to season them with some salt and pepper. Not a lot of salt comes out of this thing. So I'm like vigorously just, <laughs> just, doing, just doing that. Some pepper. And I already started the mixture. I put some heavy whipping cream in here and I'm about to put like the cream cheese. I honestly forgot. I used all the butter for the crab legs. So I took a little bit of a spoon of the butter and I put it in here. Maybe it'll give it a little extra flavor, who knows. But yeah, I'm about to um, put some cream cheese in there, make it a little thick. I'm kind of eyeballing the amount of heavy whipping cream to put. So I literally put the whole gallon, or not a gallon, it's like a quart or something. So I put the whole quart, but yeah, now I'm about to put some cream cheese. So let me open this up. Honestly, I've been recording for you guys and Snapchat. And I think that's what's so hard about like, like cooking and like like also making content is that you have to just like record and remember so much things like for me when i cook i'm like really concentrated and it's hard for me to be like all over the place with stuff hopefully i'm getting i'm giving you guys the content that you need um and i'm trying to show you guys on snap too so because i'm like trying to be more active on snapchat so if you're not following on snapchat i'd really appreciate it if you do because i'm literally posting daily like 
everything that I'm doing on social media, I am, I mean, off of social media, like I am literally posting on Snapchat, nowhere else. So go ahead and follow me on that. All right, we got the cream cheese in. All right, y'all, so unfortunately my camera died, but all I did was I mixed all the cheeses and I started to mix it like this. And look how yummy this looks. This is like super thick, look at the texture, like, hold on. Look at that. Oh, so delicious. And then I'm gonna put it in here with the noodles. And then I just kept a little bit of mozzarella and I kept this one out because it's a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna layer it with this. And I also have this one to start layering. And <laughs> this is a mess that I make. Like when I'm doing a million things at once, I literally cannot like concentrate. But yeah, let me pour this into there. I'm gonna need two hands for this. So I'm gonna show you guys the aftermath when it's done. All right, so I'm gonna spread it around in here and then I'm gonna flatten it out and then I'm gonna use um, some cheese to like layer it and then put it in the oven. I'm putting hella cheese because the more the better, right babe? Mm-hmm. Isaiah just came inside because I needed some help recording since the camera died. Put some of this in this corner. Mm -hmm. And then I'm about to layer another um, part on top, putting this on top. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Oh, I'm excited. So this is how the mac and cheese is looking. Put a lot of cheese, some seasonings. So I hope it comes out fire. About to put this in the oven. My yummy crab legs in the oven as well. Here I go. Woo wee! Girl. That looks busting. Maybe I should broil it. I think I'm gonna put it back in and broil it so the skin is like crispy. The skin? Yeah, like the cheese at the top. Yeah. I'm gonna broil it, but I'm gonna take the crab legs out first because I don't wanna broil the crab leg. Yum. That looks good. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> How's it looking, babe? How's it looking to you? Delicious. Delicious? And then we can pour the, because I didn't squeeze the lemons all the way out, so that way when we're eating it, we can pour like the lemon juice on it. Mm. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. I'm gonna broil it until the top gets a little crispy looking. So the skin then... gets crispy. <laughs> the cheese at the top until it gets crispy. And then we're gonna go ham. Here is the final results. This is my mac and cheese. I broiled it for a little bit so the top gets crispy. And here are the crab legs. All right, it is time to go in. I'm gonna hurry up and eat before it gets too cold and we're gonna get Isaiah's reaction. All right, babe, first impressions so far. How's it looking? Fuego, can we eat already? You wanna eat, you wanna hurry up and go in? Yes, man, I'm starving. Like the skin is crispy. <laughs> skin. The skin is crispy, this is looking good, it smells good, like I'm starving. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera and then we're gonna do a little taste test. This looks like a tease. <laughs> first of all, listen. That's nice, that's nice. You wanna, you wanna have an ASMR channel so bad. <laughs> I do. <laughs> all right, ready? Ooh. Damn! <laughs> Oof, that was nice and thick. Mm. <laughs> Ready to eat. Oh, so I got our little mocktails, cranberry and Sprite. Does it every time. Let's see. So. <clears throat> let's see what this mac and cheese is like. Taste the mac and cheese. It's good? Mm-hmm. Is it? Mm-hmm. Let's see. <laughs> I'm nervous to try my own food. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I made that? No, I did. This is like Chick fil A's. Uh, crab leg. Mmm. Let's see. Bigger leg. I'm just doing a taste test before I go off. Okay. So far, so good. What flavor did you use? Okay, huh? Mmm. Right. I ate. Did I eat? You're eating right now. I'm saying. That's good. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10, babe. Oh, yay! <laughs> 10 out of 10, really good. Perfect score, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm about to vlog this. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Everything came out as good as we hoped. 10 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And if you want to see more videos like this, let us know in the comment section below. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Love y'all.